Oliver Wood was a Scottish wizard who was the keeper and captain for the Gryffindor Quidditch team. He attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry from 1987 to 1994. Oliver was known for his determination and skill on the playing field and his long lectures before practices. He led the Gryffindor team to victory in the Quidditch Cup in his seventh year. Oliver was born in Scotland in 1976, most likely into a wizarding family. It's unknown what his blood status is and there is little known about his background or family history. He attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry from 1987 to 1994. He was sorted into Gryffindor and presumably shared a dormitory with Percy Weasley. He joined the Gryffindor Quidditch team as keeper also. During his first game, he took a bludger to the head two minutes in and woke up a week later in the hospital wing. He mentioned this to Harry Potter when Oliver was in his fifth year as Harry was very nervous for his first Quidditch match. Oliver also mentioned that he didn't really remember his first match because of this injury. He also attended Hogwarts with Charlie Weasley and Hufflepuff Nymphadora Tonks for four years before they graduated. Before he graduated, Oliver attended Hogwarts with fellow Gryffindor Harry Potter for three years. Oliver would frequently talk about Charlie's superb Quidditch skills and showed appreciation for them as he was a huge Quidditch fan himself. Oliver then became captain of the Gryffindor Quidditch team in 1990, his fourth year. In the 91-92 school year, despite assembling a very good team, he was unable to find anyone skilled enough to play as seeker for the team after the departure of Charlie Weasley the previous year. However, his search was ended when his head of house, Professor McGonagall, observed Harry Potter catch Neville Longbottom's Marimborol on a broomstick from a 50-foot dive. McGonagall claimed that it was a move that even Charlie Weasley couldn't have pulled off, convincing Oliver that Harry was indeed something special. He immediately saw that Harry's build was perfect for a seeker and impressed upon McGonagall the need for Harry to have a decent broom to fly. Oliver gave Harry his first Quidditch lesson in private, immediately seeing that Harry was a natural flyer on a broomstick. Wanting to use Harry as a secret weapon during his first match of the season against Slytherin, Oliver tried to keep his presence on the team under wraps. Despite his best efforts, however, word got out about Harry's presence, although his skill level was a secret from everyone outside the team. Captaining the side against their hated rivals Slytherin in the first game of the season, Oliver was delighted when Harry captured the Golden Snitch in his first match, winning the game for Gryffindor. However, the second game of the season against Hufflepuff gave Oliver cause for concern when he found out that Professor Snape would be refereeing the match in place of Madame Hooch. Fearing that Snape would not be fair to Gryffindor following their defeat of Slytherin, he urged Harry to catch the snitch as soon as possible. When he caught it within his first five minutes of being on the pitch, Oliver was overjoyed. If Gryffindor could beat Ravenclaw in the final match of the season, then they would surely capture the Quidditch Cup. Shortly after, Gryffindor lost 150 house points due to the actions of the three first year students, Harry Potter included. Harry offered his resignation to Oliver, who declined it, his reasoning being that if they didn't win a Quidditch, then they had no chance to recoup the lost points. Despite this, Oliver likely felt somewhat irked towards Harry as, during team practice sessions, his angry teammates simply referred to Harry as the Seeker. The final match of the season against Ravenclaw was a disaster. Harry was in the hospital wing after facing Professor Quirrell and Lord Voldemort after recovering the Philosopher's Stone. Without Harry and his Nimbus 2000 broomstick, the Gryffindor team suffered its biggest defeat in 300 years. Oliver spent the summer of 1992 devising an entirely new training schedule that included early morning practice sessions. He was determined to win the cup and his enthusiasm for regular training sessions knew no limits. He was annoyed that his team did not seem to be taking it as seriously as he was, but that may have been as a result of them getting up earlier than they expected on the day of their first training session. On the first Saturday back at school, he booked the Quidditch pitch to begin training earlier than any of the other teams. 
His plan, however, was cut short by the arrival of the Slytherin team, who had been given permission to use the pitch by Professor Snape in order to train their new seeker, Draco Malfoy. Gryffindor won their very first match of the season against Slytherin, but the unexplained attacks on Muggleborn students forced the cancellation of the year's remaining matches. When Minerva McGonagall announced the good news that the school would not be closing, many students shouted things like, Dumbledore's back, or the heir of Slytherin has been caught. Wood instead showed his intense love for the Quidditch game by shouting, Quidditch matches are back on. In his final year, Oliver Wood was especially desperate to win the Quidditch Cup. He knew that he had the best team in the whole school, and he felt that the Cup would have been Gryffindor's for the past two years if events hadn't so conspired against them. Training his team hard for the first match against Slytherin, he was shocked to find out that Slytherin had indeed managed to postpone the match owing to an injury to their seeker, Draco Malfoy. Malfoy injured by a hippogriff Buckbeak after insulting it during a Care of Magical Creatures lesson was overplaying his injury to get out of playing the match during such extreme bad weather. Gryffindor were then scheduled to play Hufflepuff instead. During the match, Harry was overcome by the mentors who were attracted to the large gathering. He fell from his broom while chasing the golden snitch and it was then captured by Hufflepuff seeker Cedric Diggory. When he realised what had happened, Cedric immediately offered Oliver Wood a rematch, but Oliver declined it, knowing that Cedric had caught the snitch fair and square, and assuring Harry that he didn't blame him for failing to catch the snitch, despite his previous impeccable record. However, Oliver knew they still had a chance to win the cup if they won their last remaining matches and other results went their way. He urged Harry to also buy a new broom, since his had been destroyed by the Whomping Willow after their last match, and was also worried about the Dementors appearing again and affecting Harry. Harry assured him that Professor Lupin was teaching him to deal with Dementors, and that he had received a fireball broomstick for Christmas. Oliver was amazed, then disappointed to learn that Professor McGonagall has confiscated it to check it for signs of tampering or sabotage, as she feared that Sirius Black may have sent it to harm Harry. Oliver tried to appeal to McGonagall, telling her that having the Firebolt would greatly enhance their chances of winning the Quidditch Cup. McGonagall, however, accused Oliver of playing victory above Harry's life and safety in his order of priorities. Finally though, the Firebolt was given a clean bill of health and returns to Harry, much to Oliver's joy. In the run-up to the second match of the season against Ravenclaw, Oliver upped the training sessions to five times a week and monitored the status of the Ravenclaw seeker, Cho Chang. Knowing that she had a lot of trouble with injuries, he hoped that she would not be fit to play, and was very disappointed to learn that she was actually able to. During the match, Oliver told Harry to stop being a gentleman and knock Cho off her broom if he had to. Gryffindor beat Ravenclaw and the other results went their way, meaning that in the final game of the season against Slytherin, if they could win by 210 points, they would win the Quidditch Cup. Oliver took to constantly reminding Harry that he must not catch the snitch unless they were ahead by at least 60 points, and ordering that Harry should be accompanied everywhere he went to prevent anyone from harming him before the game, which numerous Slytherins made it clear was a clear and present danger. During the match against Slytherin, Oliver took two bludgers to the stomach early in the game. Harry though managed to capture the snitch when Gryffindor were ahead by at least 60 points, resulting in Gryffindor finally winning the Quidditch Cup. Oliver, enjoyed and ecstatic, lifted the cup aloft, finally achieving his dream. After leaving Hogwarts, Oliver became the keeper for Puddlemere United's reserve team. In the summer of 1994, he attended the Quidditch World Cup where he saw Harry and introduced him to his parents and told Harry of his new career. In 1998, Oliver returned to Hogwarts along with former Gryffindor Quidditch players Angelina Johnson, Katie Bell and Alicia Spinnett to fight in the Battle of Hogwarts against Lord Voldemort and his Death Eaters. During a lull in the battle, which was granted to them by Voldemort as time to gather the dead, he assisted Neville Longbottom in carrying the dead bodies of Colin Creevy and others into the Great Hall.
Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Everyone, notifications of uploads are more important than ever. So please, if you haven't already, turn those notifications on to make sure you're notified the moment my video goes live. Making videos is what I love to do. It's my dream and my passion. However, it does cost time and money to produce this content. So if you have a dollar to spare to support me on Patreon in exchange for some exclusive unseen content, then you can click the Patreon link below or at the end of this video. Please only support me if you can afford it. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at InstaDNJ and on Twitter at Potter Folklore. Check out my other videos appearing on screen and please make sure, most importantly, to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again everyone and please have a great day.